बिस्मिल्लाकुम क्लास सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर वन एंड हेयर इज मिस उम्मे हबीबा यूनिट वन इज डाइजेशन डाइजेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ लार्ज एंड सॉलिबल फूड मॉलिक्यूल्स इंटू स्मॉल सॉलिबल मॉलिक्यूल्स टू बी एब्जॉर्ब इन टू द बॉडी सर्स नाउ वाई डाइजेशन इज नेसरी फॉर द बॉडी बॉडी कैन एब्जॉर्ब सिंपलर फॉर्म्स ऑफ फूड टू जनरेट एनर्जी स्टेप्स ऑफ डाइजेशन first break down of food by teeth and then it goes from the esophagus inside the stomach which is number 3 step and then further the digestion in the stomach by digestive juices and then complete digestion and absorption in st- in a small intestine and then assimilation and then excretion the digestive system for the digestion of food digestive system is involved parts of digestive system are mouth salivary glands esophagus stomach pancreas small intestine and large intestine liver and then gall bladder these are the part of digestive system digestion in human beings start when we eat a food it will goes from our buccal cavity into through esophagus into the stomach where it digested and then goes into large intestine and small intestine and rectum last is anus this path of food from mouth to anus is known as alimentary canal it is 10 meter long tube and also called gi tract or digestive tract other organ associated with this system are mouth liver pancreas mouth and the buccal cavity the journey of food starts in the mouth the food we eat is crushed and ground by teeth to increase the surface area for enzymes in the alimentary canal the ground food is then mixed with saliva action of saliva saliva is a slimy liquid that lubricates the ground food and convert it into mush this is the picture of salivary glands present in mouth which produce saliva and convert starch into maltose through the help of amylase enzyme the tongue tongue also plays a very important role in digestion it pushes food around our mouth for better chewing the partially digested food is then rolled by the tongue into an o- oval lump called bolus when bolus enters the food pipe backward movement of the tongue block the oral cavity and soft plates block the nasal cavity and a flexible flap called the epiglottis blocks the windpipe or the larynx so that food can move into the right pipe now this is all about the digestion of food in mouth we can meet in next class jazakallah